Hey everybody, welcome back to All By The Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Midway. Midway is rated PG-13. It is a drama action. It is 2 hours and 20 minutes long. Uh, release date is November the 8th. And it's starring Luke Evans, Patrick Wilson, Woody Harrison, Nick Jonas, Dennis Quaid, Mandy Moore, Darren Chris, Aaron Eckhart, Alexander Luckwin, Luke Clintech. Yeah, no, I'm always saying these names wrong. <laughs> wrong. Eskrin? Eskrin? So Midway is the story of the U.S. soldiers and the pilots who changed the course of World War II. This is what takes place after uh, the attack of Pearl Harbor. Honestly... I thought it was gonna be better. I I really did. I was a little bit disappointed. I feel like should have been so much better. I mean, it had the cast for it. It had the script for it as well. The script was good. I just feel that they should have gotten a better director than the one that they got. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was entertaining. I mean, you get all the explosions and the gunfires and everything um, so it does start off with the attack of pearl harbor and then it just ends up there at the victory in midway when the japanese finally retrieved and this is not a spoiler because this is in the history books okay not honestly i didn't remember this from the history books but it's in the history book so this is not really considered a spoiler in my opinion like this video if you two do not recall this from history class i cannot be the only one in all honesty, I did not find myself to get emotionally connected to any of the characters. Um, so, you know, when some of them died, it was like, oh, they died. But I wasn't like, oh, my God, they died. You know, like I normally, because I'm very dramatic like that. <laughs> now, for all my Nick Jonas fans, Bruno only has a few scenes here and there. He doesn't really come out throughout the whole movie. I mean, he does have this big hero moment at one point, so you'll be happy with that. Same thing for Darren's fan, Lieutenant Eugene, um, also just comes on a little bit on the movie. He does have more screen time than uh, Nick. You would think that after, you know, we found out that this is in fact where the Japanese are planning their attack, that we would spend more time there at Midway and we would be seeing what's going on there and their preparations and everything but you don't see it which is kind of odd to be honest with you because seeing that that was going to be where the attack was going to happen i'm sure that there was a lot of things happening in that particular spot again i could be wrong because like i said earlier i did not pay attention in history class so you know scroll me down below in the comment section about that what we did get while they were in midway was that apparently some director was trying to film a movie I don't know what movie. If you know what movie that was, comment down below. Let me know. Again, score me on that. But uh, I don't know if that movie was actually ever made. Now, do I recommend for you guys to go and watch Midway in theaters? It's hard, you guys. It really is. Personally, myself, if I had to pay for it, I would have been a little bit disappointed. I feel like it's a movie worth watching. But if you are, you know, like a World War II, Pearl Harbor, just history buff in general, I think that you might actually enjoy this movie. But that is all that I had to say about this movie. If you've seen Midway, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Were you here for it? Were you disappointed in it? If you haven't seen it, are you looking forward to watching it? Or are you going to hold off on it? And before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!